In this video, I want to introduce you to modules. Now, we've talked a number of times already about extending your site through modules. And so far, we've covered some of the modules that come with Drupal. We've actually even installed a module. We installed Devel earlier in the course. But now I want to talk to you about how you evaluate and find great modules. So would you head over to drupal.org slash project slash modules, please? And we'll see that there are a total of 17,000, almost 18,000 modules available for Drupal. So the first thing we have to know is a Drupal module only works with the version of Drupal that it's intended for. So we have to update the core compatibility to the version of Drupal we're using. If I do Drupal 8, and again, this video is being recorded before the release of Drupal 8, I've only got a thousand modules that match my search. So for the purposes of this video, we're going to switch back to Drupal 7 in order to show you some great things about modules. Click search. And there are 11,000 modules for Drupal 7. That's quite a difference. As soon as Drupal 8 is released, you're going to see that number for Drupal 8 modules rapidly increase. In the meantime, let's talk about how to evaluate good modules. Well, the first thing to know is when you come to this page and filter on the core compatibility of the version of Drupal you're using, it's sorted by most installed or most popular. So Chaos Tools Suite or C Tools and Views are the most popular modules of Drupal for all time. Go ahead and click on Views, and I want to give you a simple three-step approach to evaluating a good module. If you've ever been to the licensing bureau to get a new license to drive or register a car, in most U.S. states, it's called the DMV, or the Department of Motor Vehicles. Well, keep that in mind. D, M, and V. D stands for documentation. M stands for maintainers. And V stands for versions, or all of the information here at the bottom under project information and downloads. All right, let's start with D. Views is the second most popular module of all time. In fact, it's being incorporated into Drupal 8, and we've actually already used Views a lot in this course. There is no shortcut in open source to understanding whether a module is right for you or not than to read the documentation. How do I know what a module does? Well, I read the documentation. How do I know what the issues are? I read the documentation. How do I know if there's help available? Well, <laughs> I read the documentation. Once I install a module, how do I know which ones or which parts of it to turn on? Well, I've read the documentation. <laughs> I hope you're getting it. There's no shortcut. Here's the other thing. In open source, there's no one to sue if a module wrecks your site. It assumes that you've read the documentation and determined whether the module is compatible with what you've done on your site already. So I can't emphasize it enough. Read all of this information especially clicking on the documentation link, the issue queue, and the bug reports to find out what's going on with this module. So that's the D. The M stands for maintainers. This particular module was started by Merlin of Chaos. I love this name. He brings order from chaos. And so when I click on his name, it takes me to his Drupal bio. And I'll show you later on in the course how you can have your very own Drupal bio. And we see that Earl Miles is quite a contributor to the Drupal project. Over 6,300 commits, and of course, the main creator of Chaos Tools and Views. There are a number of other maintainers for this particular module. And with modules, you might see just one person maintaining it, or you might see a whole list of people maintaining a module. That's not necessarily good or bad. However, if a module happens to be mission critical and the maintainer gets hit by a bus, heaven forbid, well, you might be in a little bit of trouble. So that's something to consider. 
Finally, down here at the bottom is the project information and the versions, or our V. The maintenance status of views right now is seeking co-maintainers. Now again, that's not necessarily a bad thing. That views has been incorporated into Drupal 8, and so they're probably just looking for some help there. It's under active development. It's on almost a million sites. In fact, I've never built a site without views, and it's had 7.6 million downloads. Uh, this is important. If a project says abandoned or I've given up, uh, it's probably not the module you want to use. You won't see that very often at all. As I mentioned earlier, you must use the version of the module that is the same as the version of your Drupal installation. There is no Drupal 8 version here because, of course, Views is in core. But if I was installing this on a Drupal 7 site, I would not click here on this link. It takes me to a node that describes some more information about this module. I would hover over the tar or the zip, right click, and click copy link. Now again, I mentioned that when we installed Devel. So how do I determine if a module is right for me? Simple as DMV. One of the questions I get in our live training all the time is, well, how do I find a module? Now, that's a little bit trickier. You can certainly go to drupal.org slash project slash modules and filter by core compatibility categories, of which there are many. But frankly, I find it virtually impossible to find modules that I need quickly at drupal.org. Now, I've gotten pretty good at it, so I can usually find them. But when I started out, it was more the issue of, wow, so many modules do so many things. There's Sometimes there's overlap. Which module is right for me? Google is your friend. If I'm looking for Drupal module and I need a date field, again, the date field is in Drupal 8, but in Drupal 7 it wasn't, I would just type Drupal module date. And the first thing that comes up is the date module. I know that because the URL is drupal.org slash project slash date. What if I need, say, a rating system? Drupal module rating system. Ah, there are two options here, the five star rating module or the star rating module. So right off the bat, I have two modules that I can look at to determine which one might be better for me. What about if I need a web form? Well, again, Drupal module web form. And well, look at that. There's a project called web form. You'll find this to probably be the best way to find modules at least in the beginning. Drupal, module, and then a description of what you need your module to do. Well, I hope that's been helpful. Remember, in finding modules, Google is your friend. In understanding which module might be best for you, it's just a simple matter of D, M, and V.